it just starts doing it itself normally when you're in the oh. right spot. Oh, Ooh, so it's not. Like it. Oh. Uh -huh. uh. Well, they've got the food. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you guys to figure out how to get it. Enjoy, ladies. <laughs> Right, so yeah, I think we've got bees, we've got solar, we've got wind, so we've negated the loan payment and we're earning an extra grand a month and then whatever the bees are going to give us. There's yep. nothing in the shop to buy in the discount no. market at the moment and we can't really afford to buy a 40 grand field next door for it to just sit there with canola on it. So yeah. I think we just go for the chickens. Okay, this money's burning a hole in your pocket, isn't it? Well, it is, um, but also sheep terrify me. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I trust you, because I, I think mm. there's a couple of different options with the sheep, isn't there? Not the, the sheep. sheep, the chickens. It, it's been a day. <laughs> it's been a day. The, there are options. There is six grand pasture. Yeah. Um, that is smaller than that little shed on our land. Okay but you can still fit 30 chickens in it. Right, that's not bad. There is the next one up, which can fit 360 chickens in it. Maybe that's not the next one up. Yeah, we can't afford list. that, though. That is... No. That's pricey. That one is 80,000. Yeah. And then there is a small shed with open chicken pasture. Right. Um, that one is 25,000 and can fit 20 chickens. Right, okay. And then there is a, another shed... Uh, with an open pasture, and that is about 30,000 and can also fit 20 chickens. So, right. those last two are very expensive yeah. for less chickens than what we can put in just a regular field. Right. I, I think, you know, we are at that stage where we need to be careful with money. So, mm -hmm. and if they're going to be outdoors, it's it's some of, we're not going to need to worry too much about them getting snowed on or anything yet. So, mm -hmm. I think go for the six grand pasture. Um, yeah. But, make sure if you place it because obviously we're going to need to be able to get food to them yes. so um i think the far side of the shed like down yeah. the bottom end of the field oh right down there it's a bit lumpy down there the ground oh not all the way down near the very edge of the field oh, like okay. you know where the wind turbine is yeah i was thinking you see where the path just sort of finishes yeah it fits nicely between those two trees okay yeah that that would be good as long as where we would need to drop off any food is accessible. Yep. Then, It'll be right in on this side because I yeah. get the back fence along that hedge line. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I trust yeah. you. This is a trust so this, exercise. There's going to be 140 quid of terraforming done. I think we can cope with that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there you go. Okay. You need some chickens now. Nice. So... We don't have any way of transporting chickens, so I think we're going to have to just buy them and pay for the delivery. Yep. Um, so we can do that from the the actual thing, can't we? Yep. Uh, ah, chicken dealer. Press on <gasps> oh, I see. So you can buy them, and they're... It's going to take two months for them to start laying eggs if you buy them a fiver each. Mm -hmm. If you pay 50, then they will start laying eggs immediately. Mm-hmm. So do we... I buy 10 at 50 quid? 500 quid? Plus a rooster? Um... Or, hang on, before you do buy them... I'm not buying anything. How we're gonna, we need to, <laughs> I'm terrified to spend money. We need to money. figure out how we're going to get food here for them. Oh, that is true. Yeah, let's sort out the food before we start uh, trapping animals in fences. Right, do you want to open up the um, gate? Because... Yeah. If we can fit a front loader on this, wouldn't yeah. that also deliver the chicken food? No, because it comes in bags, so you'd probably need like a pallet fork or a bale spike or something oh, like that to pick them up. Yeah, but you can put that on a front loader attachment, can't you? Yes, yeah. So yeah. what you have is you have the front loader arms, hmm. and then you have different attachments that attach to that. And it could be a shovel, it could be a spike, it could be whatever you need. Okay. And this little Ford would basically <laughs> Whoa. be our little it's yard fine. tractor. No one told me I couldn't. Oh, I've left the lights on, though. Nope, that's made it worse. <laughs> How do I turn the lights off? That's it. There we go. Right, that, that, that'll do. 
Right, so, so... modify it. Right, okay. And you want to put the... Oh, should I repair it? Because it's, like, half knackered. How much is that going to cost? 1600 Yeah, we can probably afford that. We can repaint it for six grand, but I don't think that we... I don't think we want to do that. ...need to worry about that. Right. Um, beacon, exhaust, extra work lights, air conditioning. Ooh, air conditioning. It's three grand. No. <laughs> I don't know what difference that makes in a video game, though. <laughs> <laughs> right, it does have an 80 kilo front weight. If we're, if we're going to have a front loader, then should we put a back weight on it? If we can put a back weight, we might have to buy that separately. Or the rear wheels, you might be able to get some weights in the rear wheels. Right, okay. Right, well, let's have a look. Front loader attacher. So there's yep. one by Quick, which is 1500, or Hoya, which is 1500, or MP Lift, which is 1500, or Stall, which is 1500. So does it make a Don't difference? I think it matters. They do um, look quite different, though. Oh, so, so the, we might have to choose the front loader attachment that we want. Let me have a look at that and see what the cheapest is. Yeah, because the Quick loaders. one is quite stout and short. The higher one is really tall and thin. Um, the MP lift one is kind of squat. And the stall one is this weird hook system thing. To be fair, right. the stall one, I think, looks best. Well, I, there isn't any stall front loaders. In, right. So that one's out. Put flotation tyres on The this. cheapest quick front loader is 7k. The right. cheapest Hoyer one is 9k. There's a Kabuto one. Are there any MP lift here. ones? No. Okay, so quick then? Yeah, I'll go with quick. Okay. So that's 1500 that'll cost us. There we go, there's the bucket. And then it's a choice between... A pallet. Bale spike, or pallet forks, or the big bag lifter. I'm tempted to go with the pallet because yeah. it'll be way easier to like pick up and it's more useful because um, some of the things that we might make in the future will be on pallets to pick up. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, I'll grab the pallet fox as well then. So, are you hooking up this tractor? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so if you want to come get, get these arms ones first. first. Those arms are massive. They're the smallest ones as well. Right. Really hope this tractor doesn't tip forward. Uh, Did you connect the horses and stuff as well? Nope. I think it did now. Uh, yeah, there we no, go. Okay. Nice. So if you want to back up and pick up the pallet fork. Okay. That's that one over where you are. Yeah. <laughs> Missed it. And then I've got the Land Rover ready so that you can stick the pallet fork in the back of. You should be able to connect that from within the cab. There we go. You stick that in the back of the landy. Okay. Am I in yet? Am I in yet? Keep going. Am no, I in no. yet? Bring it down a bit. Down. Down. That's it. Now that's it. Go on, shove it in. <laughs> well, that I'm pushing the Land Rover forward now. Yeah, you're probably as close as you're going to get it there, so that'll do. There we go. Nice. Right, and then why didn't I just use the bucket scoop to pick the pallet fox up? Because it's a bit fiddly and it'll fall out. More than the Land Rover? Yeah, okay. I think so. There we go. <laughs> you knocked it over. <laughs> can you go not? Can you not? Oh, no. not? oh my god. <laughs> I hope. Is it going to stand up? No, you're going to have to tip it back up with your shovel. What? Oh, it's a good job I can't run you over. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go, here we go. Right. I see your uh, bucket skills now. Well, you're going to have to help because I can't see what I'm doing. Right, lower your bucket. Stop, 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 stop. Reverse. Right, lower your bucket, like tip it forwards. That's the other way. That's it. Now drive forwards. Well, be awesome. Uh, yeah, I can't. Lift that. It Lift your arm up so that your wheels are back on the floor. Lift it a bit more. There we go. Right, now come forwards and left a little bit. Now forwards. 
and stop. Right, lift up your bucket a bit. Keep going, now drive forwards a little bit. And lift, whoa, 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 stop, stop. Right, there you go. Back up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at that precision. And I'll follow you up in the landing because we'll need it for yeah. loading. I completely forgot about the food. I know. I <laughs> you were going to just have <laughs> these little chickens scrabbling around. I mean, technically, they should be okay, like, um, you know, foraging. But yeah. if we want high-quality eggs... Can you manage? I just saw you wiggling your forks around. There we yeah. go. Alright, that's not tipped you up, has it? Uh, not yet. Well, that's alright then, so the weight on the back's working. Good. Right, so you're following yeah. in the Land Rover? Yep. Okay. Right, well, I'll put my beacons on, because I'm going on the road. And then, watch out for the hedge. Boom! And this is organic chicken feed, not just any chicken feed. Yeah. This is M&S chicken feed. <laughs> right, I can't see anything, because... Where the road is, the chicken feed is. Um, so you might have to give me a heads up when I need to turn left. I think it's right, coming here. up to it now. Right, so Keep watch out for the gate. I wish the gate didn't open this way, though. Yeah. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's just here on the left now. Alright. Oh, like a glove. I've practiced. You have no idea how much practicing I've done. I don't want to look like an idiot in front of our audience. Again. And then, do I have to lift it over the fence? No, there's, there'll be an unload icon. Uh, yeah, there's a tipping icon here. Yeah, so that's where it'll need to be, but we'll probably need some chickens first before it'll tip anything in. Oh, right, okay. Well then. So can I not just put the bag down here? Oh. You probably could, and it'll just unload into the thing as it's needed. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, there's a cockerel. Wait, did the cockerel cost go. six pounds? Yes. Wow, that is cheap. <laughs> I suppose they don't really contribute anything other than that. It's got to be around here somewhere. Well, there's no option for me. Oh, wait, let me just check something. Lower weight, open cruise, change cruise. I'm just checking in case I need to be on one of the other things, but I'm on the... I think you need to come at it 90 degrees as you were, and have it lifted up over the fence. But I was over so the fence, and it didn't this come up with anything. Trough. But a bit the, more, I think. the tipping point is there, though, so it should just come up saying, tip now, kind of thing. It just starts doing it itself, normally, when you're in oh. the right spot. Oh, Ooh, so it's not... Fling it. Oh. Uh -huh. um, well, they've got the food. <laughs> it's up to you guys to figure out how to get it. Enjoy, ladies. <laughs> you have a Stanley knife on you or something. <laughs> um, well, that's, that's the thing. Done. See you later. I don't... I don't... Uh, is that too far in? What is the physics there? That thing weighs nearly a ton. Wait, wait, did any chicken... <laughs> was anyone underneath it when it landed? I uh, don't know. We'll find out when we open it. Does it See say that we still have 11 chickens? It does. Um, it doesn't say whether they're alive or not. Right. How close am I? Uh, about four feet away from it. Right, let's go and buy another bag of chicken feed. Did you know that Tom Lewis Gaming now offers memberships? There's a range of rewards depending on which tier you pick. And you can sign up for free. We'll be issuing newsletters with interesting information regarding Farm Sim and the channel itself with behind the scenes information. And you can enjoy discounts in our store if you sign up for a paid membership. Check it out on our website today at tomlewisgaming.com. Well, it's something for them to look at. Sit that, it, play it's um, enrichment. That's what it is. Yeah. Plus, if they what, get hungry... Put a big bag of food that they're not allowed to get. If, if they're hungry and we forget to feed them, they can peck their way into the bag and the cleverer ones will have food. Right, so here's the thing. I think that the pallet, the big mm. bag pallet, automatically unloads when it's over something like a trailer. But if you're bringing the food to here it either needs to be in a trailer or it needs to be maybe like a big bag I've definitely done this before though where it comes out of this spout and fills 
out of this. Yeah. Definitely done it. We can try a big bag and see see what that does instead. I don't think we're ever going to earn back what these chickens are costing us, you know. Uh, and you'll be okay by picking it up with that, won't you? Yeah. Oop. No, I crashed. I've had an accident. Okay, can't be that bad. Um. But <laughs> 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 well, it could be. <laughs> I love that you still sat in there. Right, well, I'll act as a pivot point. I'll get you back. Yeah. Oh, I just power washed you as well. Um, you're gonna have to reset yourself. Oh wait, no. Put your um. Yeah, there you go. There we go. I just picked it up. I helped. What, what can we do to change the situation? Because you need food, and there's food inside this bag. That I can't lift. And there's food inside this bag that's in here with you. If I had a Stanley... Wait, wait I can use the chainsaw, can I? Can I use the chainsaw? Chainsaw. Do not accidentally catch a chicken. I'm trying to cut the bag open. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that, though. <sighs> Should. I'll give them some water. Here you go, chicken. Nice little bath. There you go. Lift the bags a little bit more. I can't. What? What do you mean you can't? Watch. You watching? Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> okay, yeah. There you go. And then they stand themselves up, because that's what grain does. <laughs> and now just approach the left-hand side with your, your fork. Yep. And then we'll try lifting it over the fence. That's it. Perfect. Down a little bit, right a little bit. You need to be a little bit more right. You, you're scraping the hole. Down a little bit. <laughs> Have you seen the name of the pallet fork? No. It's all but. <laughs> Gross. Right. Straight ahead. Right a little bit. There, perfect. Slot it in. There you go. Now just lift it up and put it over the fence. And we will get this chicken feed thing sorted. Once and for all. Right, up. There. Forwards. Uh, right a little bit. Yeah, you caught on the spike of the fence. Left a little bit. And... Um... We seem to have an issue in that we can't drop off the chicken food here. Yeah. From either of these bags. Yeah. For whatever reason, it doesn't like the pallets, it doesn't like the bags. Yeah. These bags are normally used to refill trailers. Yeah. Let's take a contract that comes with a trailer and say... Yes. And then we need a small trailer. Yeah, I'll just... yeah. A small, small trailer. Right, I've got a harvesting contract that comes with a trailer. And the trailer's over here. So, let's hook it up. Oh, hang on, stop that. I'll just oh. steal it. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's getting thin. What did you do? There we go. I just loaded from that bag. It was like it was wasting away. I didn't like that one bit. <laughs> do you want to see if you can reverse that and if it'll accept it? Because that'll be an issue, is... If we can only drop in, say, like a hundred litres of food, then that trailer's just going to have that in. It's full. It's full. <laughs> ah. Right, but so... What I think you might be able to do with this now is do an... dump it on the ground, and then we can just use the... Ah, oh, the bucket scoop. The bucket scoop, yeah, to... Maybe. Do it where we need it. I do have concerns that um, that won't work. I don't know where you are. I'm in the blue are you tractor. Are you not? I mean, are you directly behind me? I oh, I am now. Oh, thanks. What are you doing? Oh, pull it forward a little bit, see if it starts dropping. Keep going. No, that's up. It'll probably oh, just kind of flop. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's good. That's close enough. We do yeah. a scoop, we turn left, we drop it. So we have to wait. I'm guessing that it's just going to take it like once a day. It just as the chickens. Oh, there we go. Oh, eight litres. 
Right, their health is at 10%. I think that means they're going to start making eggs. Oh. So... Uh, it hasn't taken anything automatically. Come back a bit. Back. Back. That, yeah, 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 yeah. So you just need to be just over the fence. So you filled it. Yep. Nice. So you can actually leave that like that, and then every time you eat, it'll dump a little bit more out. Yeah, that doesn't feel like we're doing survival, though. That feels like we're <laughs> no. game-breaking. You won't know this, um, but if you look at the time, it's now 12.23. Um, yeah, we, we've cut out quite a bit of faffing on trying to get the chickens fed. Um, but animal safety is our first and only priority, and we will make sure that they get the food they need, even if we have to take out ridiculous contracts to get equipment that we can use to feed them. And now we await the honey production. 